वी हैव लर्न राइट नाउ हाउ टू एड वैक्टर्स हाउ टू सब्रैक्ट वैक्टर्स हाउ टू रिजोल्व वैक्टर्स हाउ टू फाइंड द रिजल्ट ऑफ मैनी वैक्टर्स मैथमेटिकली विदाउट गोइंग इन टू द ग्राफिक ओके सो आई थिंक आई थिंक now with this much knowledge of resolution addition and subtraction let's should i finish off vector or should i go to projectile motion finish off vector finish off vector so projectile so finish off vector okay so instead of just doing practice of vectors let's start the topic and let's learn vectors through those topics so now we are coming to motion in two dimension projectile motion it is it is a little lengthy and supposedly considered to be the most difficult topic of mechanics be with me and i assure you you'll enjoy it okay. motion in two dimension till now you have studied motion in one dimension where acceleration free fall under gravity and you you were doing questions of v is equal to u plus at and all those equations of motion all that knowledge will be utilized here also instead of doing too many problems on kinematics only and the booklet will be more than sufficient i can assure you and instead of just doing that topic if you finally when you appear for iit j after 2 years and you realize in full mechanics up to including rotation which you learn in whole 11th there were two three questions of mechanics then you feel frustrated nowadays the thrust is on modern physics electricity and magnetism and generally the old system teachers they keep making the children do whole 11th they make them do mechanics only i feel adapting to the new needs i feel we should focus more on the concepts learn the things do optimum number of problems and instead of doing gadha mazduri in mechanics only let's move ahead let's be fast ha huh. so that lingo of iit will be sometimes inherently in my dialogue because i have been in iit delhi so wo delhi wali language aur iit delhi ki jo lingo hai uska taste aapko milta rahega please bear that now motion in two dimension please see this till now you have done what is projectile motion suppose you are standing on the ground and you throw a stone vertically upwards so it will go up and then fall down am i right yes or no yes sir yes, sir not always true now i i was expecting someone to be aware of this now if you throw it with a velocity greater than esco velocity it will never come yeah, it will escape yeah. so when ever i say any statement please keep your mind open this analytical skill is what iit is looking for nowadays please be very alert now so if i have thrown a body with less velocity velocity less than the escape velocity it will fall down now so but if i throw a body at an angle if i suppose initially when we will do a chapter there will be a concept called escape velocity where you will learn how to calculate escape velocity how much is that it is approximately 11.2 or 11.8 yeah something like that kilometers per second if the velocity is greater than that the body will never return back to earth it will escape the gravitation i'll explain to you later right now just let's focus on on the normal thing if i am throwing a body initially with a velocity 100 meters per second not vertically up but at an angle 30 degrees with the ground just be very very attentive that's it likhne se zyada samajhne pe dhyan do i am throwing a body with 100 meter per second aiming at 30 degree angle so initial velocity is how much 100 meters per second yes or no yes, yes sir after this will the body go up and come down or will it be something like this yes this kind of motion is called projectile motion please see this and this distance traveled horizontal displacement is called range this is called the range this is called the maximum height attained 
this height is called the maximum height attained by the projectile in its path so this how do we find the range how do we find the maximum height attained how do we find please see this so this kind of motion is called projectile motion this is a motion in two dimension the body is moving horizontally also body is going vertically up and then coming down yes or no yes sir so this motion is happening simultaneously in two directions one is horizontal one is vertical in horizontal it is always moving towards right in vertical it is going up and it is then coming down am i right whenever you have any such complex motion two dimensional three dimensional we'll do everything right now just see all you have to do is you have to break the motion the the power of science the power of logical thinking is always whenever you have a problem break it into separate compartments now please see this one critical thing you have to understand here if you have any vector this is a vertical vector what will be the component of this vector in horizontal direction please tell me 0 0 a cos 90 yes. if it is making an angle theta it is a cos theta right now angle is 90 so a cos 90 cos 90 is 0 so the component of a vector in a direction perpendicular to it is how much 0 perfect so now tell me when this body is going to move suppose it is here what are the forces acting on this body when it is here what are the forces acting on this body only only one force gravitational force assuming there is vacuum assuming yes there is no air resistance we are neglecting it right now in olympiad exam they gave a question as where you had to consider last year where you had to consider air friction also we learned that also right now we haven't learned calculus properly so in normal projectile motion two dimensional motion you are not supposed to everywhere they will mention that neglect air friction so right now the only force acting on the body is mg and it is acting vertically downward and this is the force can anyone tell me it is acting vertically downwards can anyone tell me what is the acceleration of this body 9.83 force divided by mass net force is mg therefore divided by mass so the acceleration of the body is g acceleration due to gravity what is the direction of the acceleration downwards vertically downwards whether the body is going up or it is coming down in every the whole journey the acceleration was downwards vertically downwards and the acceleration was g everyone clear about that yes sir now tell me there are two different directions one is horizontal one is vertical please tell me any force in vertical direction will it have any any component in horizontal direction acceleration will it have any component in horizontal direction velocity is equal to displacement upon time horizontal velocity for horizontal motion let's break this velocity initial velocity can be broken into two components one is going to be horizontal and the other is going to be initial vertical component so initial horizontal component and initial vertical component can anyone tell me what will be initial horizontal component 100 cos 30 simple we learned resolution of vectors today only 100 cos 30 will be the velocity in horizontal direction and it will be 100 cos 30 is 50 root 3 okay in horizontal direction initially the velocity is 50 root 3 in vertical direction initial velocity is 60 and direction upwards now please see this treat both the motions independently the horizontal motion and the vertical motion we will treat them independently because any force any ex any velocity in vertical direction its component in horizontal direction is how much zero 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 so it has no influence on horizontal motion and any horizontal velocity horizontal acceleration has no effect in vertical direction am i right or not yes, yes sir perfect so if this is clear 
now for horizontal motion let's study everything horizontal and for vertical motion let me study everything horizontal now all of you please be very attentive and respond what we are for vertical motion we have to study everything vertical and not horizontal yes why did i say the wrong thing <laughs> now if this is the <laughs> This is the initial horizontal velocity towards right. Everyone agree? Yes, yes, sir. Now, please tell me, is there any any force in horizontal direction? No, sir. Is there any acceleration in horizontal direction? No, sir. No, sir. Will the horizontal velocity change? No, sir. Horizontal velocity will remain constant. Yes or no? Yes, yes, sir. So initially, if the horizontal velocity is 50 root 3, at this point, what will be the horizontal velocity? Tell me fast. At the highest point, what will be the horizontal velocity? Just before hitting, what will be the horizontal velocity? Is everyone clear about this aspect? Yes, sir. Yes. You do not have to make notes of it. You have to just understand it in your mind. That's it. Horizontal velocity will remain constant because there is no horizontal acceleration. Am I clear? Yes. There is no acceleration in horizontal direction. Therefore, the horizontal velocity will remain constant everywhere throughout the motion. And at every point during the motion, horizontal motion may, horizontal direction may, no force, no acceleration, no change in velocity. That's it. Constant velocity is all right. Suppose I tell you that the total time from here to here is t naught second. Horizontally, suppose the body was in air for t naught seconds. Can anyone tell me what was the range? What was the horizontal displacement? Sir, 50 root 3 into t naught. Perfect. 50 root 3 into t naught. Because velocity remained constant. So, constant velocity is velocity into time is displacement. Horizontal velocity is horizontal displacement. So, the range will be 50 root 3 into t naught. Perfect. Have you done this topic already in school or something? No, sir. You cannot do all of you. See, if you are intelligent, that I can believe. But so many people cannot be so intelligent at the same time. So let's see. Tell you. Pata lagega. Now. Abhi, abhi, abhi pata lagega. Dhyan se dekhe. Now, if I want to study the vertical motion only now. Just be very attentive. This is something new that you will be seeing. For vertical motion, I will write down a heading that I want to study vertical motion. And I will I'll write down everything which is related to vertical motion. So please tell me, I put a heading vertical. Initial vertical velocity. Kitna hai? Boli hai. 50 meters per second. And what is the direction? Acceleration in vertical direction. Kitna hai? Minus 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 and I have instructed you if you remember in the first acha maybe some of you might be attentive in that so please put down your hands now please be attentive and be careful forever never say acceleration is minus 10 never say that Always say acceleration is 10 meter per second square downward. If I have chosen upward direction positive, then we it will be minus 10. If I have chosen downward direction positive, how can you say it will be minus 10? So you are saying minus 10 and you are not specifying any direction. So please never take it to be yes, Krutika. Sir, we can even use J cap and minus J cap. And then if you So the convention, isn't it positive? Or is it down the Right now, have we anywhere mentioned x axis, y axis, anywhere? We haven't. First, we have to specify that we are choosing this coordinate system x axis, y axis. Then you can, so we sound me up. Without specifying, and you say it is minus 10, no logic. Please be very, very attentive. Now, please pay attention. You will be solving all projectile questions. All, forever. So please understand, this topic will be over. So be very